guys hi everyone how are you doing this afternoon ukaje i've become so lazy guys but starting now i'll be more consistent I'll, I'll put out more content i was taking some break and i was doing also some other projects but i'm back with a bang so if you're new here welcome this is home my name is mudoni mukiri this channel is called mudoni's mission it's about emotional and mental wellness it's about working to become a better person it's about our behavior our actions our heart yani it's about overall about emotional and mental wellness if you're um, a native of this channel welcome back if you've not subscribed please hit the subscription button and also hit the bell Cynthia, and also watch the adverts as they run <laughs> no seriously so i'm gonna be talking about how to be more attractive but not necessarily physically but how to improve your personality your personality is not your dna you can change it uh, our personality are uh, traits that our personalities are traits that we learn from our childhood which means we can unlearn them and relearn new things so because uh, some people are usually like uh, people don't like me uh, is it my height do i smell is it the way i talk uh, i'm so lonely i cannot make a relationship work my friends hate me i am suicidal well you probably need to do maybe a bit of hygiene and those are things that comes with confidence but i really want to talk about deep things about changing your personality about being more attractive even to yourself you know you want to look at yourself in the mirror and recognize yourself and be proud of who you are be proud of your actions and your values and what you stand for so number one i will talk about the around nine nine tips of um how to be more attractive in terms of your personality the first one you need to practice social skills you have to learn how to carry a conversation you have to have icebreakers especially for those that are introverts you have to have icebreakers for when for, exa for example you walk into a room there's a party or uh, you meet someone for the first time probably you can start by talking about the room around you can talk about deco oh, this place looks really nice and it's actually fully packed today i didn't know there would be as many people as there are today you know uh you don't necessarily have to talk about the weather just have icebreakers for when you start a conversation number two be a good listener listening is so important you guys and acknowledge people when they talk to you about themselves or when they tell you something don't you just don't you just hate it when you go to someone to talk to them about what's happening at your workplace and then immediately they start talking about their workplace as well they don't even acknowledge what you're saying they don't it's like they don't listen they're just waiting for you to finish blah 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 doing opening your mouth so they can talk about themselves it's annoying and nobody likes such friends and even sometimes you might have a, good, a group of friends and if one friend is those ones who are just waiting to respond that, that those are the people you will not be running to if you have issues or if you have something to share with or if you have good news or, or so so be, be an active listener don't listen to respond acknowledge people and actually show interest in conversations uh yes also learn how to smile learn the art of eye contact and nodding your head be interested in people in conversations learn how to flow with the conversation have ice breakers you know it's social skills are really important they are very very important number 2 the art of composure this is very attractive don't uh, there are those people who remain calm after there's a crisis or if you feel like things are falling apart then they are calm and collected and they're busy looking for a solution they can be able to handle their emotions it is so attractive because even my, why most of our relationships don't work in terms of our friendships with our neighbors or even our work relationships is because we are chaotic like our emotions and feelings are all over if something small happens we cannot be able to calm our mind and look for a solution we think the world is falling apart we start calling everybody we start going crazy we start ranting on social media there's nothing as attractive as the art of composure for me i started having composure when i started my self awareness journey and uh, and uh, this is for me understanding self awareness has uh, a lot to do with your thoughts I read somewhere and I've been uh, practicing it and it's something I've noticed in my thoughts that when something happens into your life there is the first thought the first thought is the child thought 
is a thought of if something happens in your relationship the first thought is I will leave this man or behave like a man what is wrong with you that's the first thought the second thought is the intelligent thought is the parent thought is the one that tells you hey don't leave that man He's taking care of your children. He takes care of you. He loves you. He's just made a mistake once. Or if something happens, the first thought at work, if something happens at work and the first thought is, you know what, I'm resigning right now and you're writing the resignation letter, you're so mad. And then the second thought comes and tells you, this job pays your bills. This job took you for a master's, uh, uh, for, to pursue your master's in India. This job is the reason you're able to buy this and this, you're able to afford blah, blah, blah. So most of us don't understand we have the first and the second so the fact that the, the, the time you get the first thought you just want to act like this but when the second thought comes now you start feeling wow i would not have told i should not have told my boyfriend that i should not have told my husband i should not have resigned that job i should not have you know blocked my friend so don't act on the first thought it's usually flight or fight like it comes and then you're feeling like you just want to act immediately breathe in breathe out take a glass of water, take your time. The intelligence voice, the parent thought will guide you. Don't act immediately. When, when something just, don't start becoming chaotic. Breathe in, breathe out. Pace around, walk around the room, take a glass of water, sit down. A solution will come. I learned how to compose myself when I started my self-awareness journey. See you. So from now on, one, what, not, what do you know? You have two voices in your head, like two thoughts in your head. Hmm? That is why sometimes when something happens, for example, if my uh, my DM, my domestic manager does something or uh, somebody does something even on the road or something, if you're not able to respond to them at that point, and then later on, after like an hour, you realize you will not tell them the same thing. You would have told them immediately it happened. You know, like you've already collected yourself and your mind. So when something happens, even in, in this, especially when it comes to our relationships with our, our relationships with our friends, with our family, with everybody, hmm? uh, learn to take to take a minute before you talk. People sometimes will forget what you said, but they'll never forget what how you made them feel. And then also you don't want to keep apologizing for things that you would have handled in a better way. So the third thing is authenticity being true to yourself standing by your truth standing by your word huh? um and if you want to uh, end up in a healthy relationship you have to learn to stand with your truth people who are authentic who know i, do, I don't take alcohol it doesn't matter if i if i meet the president i'm not gonna take alcohol you stand with your truth people like that are the people who end up in healthy relationships Imagine people respect you and your choices. Nobody will come here for you and enhance your standards and your boundaries for you. You have to do that yourself. So becoming authentic is really, really important. And it's part of a good personality. Sometimes when you find people who um, are not just swayed by anything, they have a stand. They know what they want. They know what they can and cannot take. It's really attractive. You also want people who understand themselves, who understand their extremes, who understand... Uh, I can't do this and I'm not going to do it just because it's you. Take it or leave it. And that not being not scared, I don't know if that's proper English, not being scared of being alone is so attractive. And you know those people that, that are authentic like that, they're never alone. People will march into your life and stick and match your standards. Hmm? Yeah, so it's really, really important not sacrificing your values, not sacrificing what you stand for. There's a book I was reading and it was saying how to know you're in a healthy relationship or you're doing the right job. You're just where you need to be in. How to know that? You know that when you're not betraying your values, when you're in a relationship that does not betray your values, when you're in a relationship where you have to behave in a certain way to keep that person, when you're in a job that you have to Cope, cope with uh, sexual abuse or you have to uh, kiss people's ass in, in a negative way. When you're in a place or in a situation when you're not betraying your values, that's when you know you, you know, that's the right relationship for you. And how do you do that? By being, standing with your values, standing with your truth and not being so scared to lose people. To lose your okay, so the idea is don't lose yourself so you can impress other people. 
stand with your truth be authentic if you don't like something don't take it mm -hmm. yeah so another thing is integrity integrity is uh, like it's being honest and doing the right thing even if no one is watching integrity is keeping your word if we're gonna meet at 12 o'clock I'm there at 12 o'clock. If I'm not there at 12 o'clock, I should be able to call you and tell you, by the way, I'm not able to make it at that time. How about you do 4 p.m.? Or I'll be late uh, by 30 minutes. Keeping your word. It's doing the right thing even when nobody is watching. It's having strong moral principle. And it's a very highly valued trait in leaders. Hmm? Be a person of integrity. Keep your word. You know, if you don't expect someone to steal, if you don't expect other people to steal from you, you don't expect, also don't do the same thing. If you want your partner to be faithful to you, please be faithful. Yeah, have, be a person of integrity. And sometimes do you realize you can be a person of integrity, you're honest, you stand with your values, you keep your word, you know. Uh, and sometimes you meet people who are not up to that standard and then they just level up because it's you. Because they know you won't joke. Because they know you will not wait for, for them for two hours. If they are late, you will walk. So integrity is really, really attractive. And it's a good character to have. So practice integrity. Tuache wongo mingi. Tuache ku be trying to fit in other people's shoes. And then let's stop expecting one thing from people. And we are the complete opposite. Another thing that's really attractive. Because this one is so attractive. It should have been my number one. Is staying positive people who are positive thinkers people who are solutions oriented don't you just dislike people who just are just whining the whole time i just like shetani and i'm kianga kongwa subi mapema like today my day ruined uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do things are falling apart i don't know if i will survive this life is so hard don't you just dislike that such people like their 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 conversations are so draining learn to be a positive person and you also let me uh, because we're also talking about how to have an attractive personality don't you also like friends who that have some of my best friends who when thing i feel like things are falling apart in my world i know when i call them i'll be fine i know when i call them they'll be so supporting where are you babe let me come oh okay so what's up Ama, can we meet tomorrow let's talk about it later i'm in a meeting Ama, uh, so do you want me to call them for you and and, and try to uh, sort the issue yeah, as in don't you just love people who are positive people who just want to show you there's hope and who just want to show you things can get better become that person learn the art of positive thinking and it also starts with what you tell yourself when things are messy telling yourself more than things are messy today but tomorrow is another day to be better hmm? there's a lesson you're learning here you know positive thinking really really goes a long way so another another very attractive trait is a trait another very attractive trait is having a good sense of humor we all want to laugh. We all want to feel good. We want that hearty laugh. I'm not saying you have to have jokes for comedians or for, you know, for jokes for ha 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 You can just have those jokes of, hmm. You can also have your own funny stories. Like, for example, if you go on a first date or on a date and sometimes you don't know how to carry these conversations, have a story. Uh, you know those ones of, hey, let me tell you a funny story. So, there was this priest. And you go about it. Ha have a sense of humor. You know, uh, enjoy laughter and enjoy those funny conversations. People love funny people. People love funny people. People want to hang out with people who will make them laugh. And that's why sometimes when my best friend is a comedian, sometimes when I walk with her all over, everybody wants to talk to her. Everybody's looking, waiting for her to crack a joke and all that. And people like her. People like that. And it, you realize you have sometimes to go out of your comfort zone. If, for example, you feel like you're boring, sometimes I'm really like, I'm so boring. But uh, when I'm with my circle or whoever, I just have funny stories and things we talk about. For example, a like, cop arrested me on the road and then they were telling me this and then we start laughing. You don't have to have like those jokes that you've, mastered the whole night but you can just have some funny stories have a sense of humor people are, are attracted to such things people want to laugh you know the world can be difficult the world can be stressful so people want to have to be able to release so number eight is enjoy life life is for the living enjoy living your life uh 
the people who are so enthusiastic about life they're so adventurous those are the people when you're going out of town or you're going for a road trip those are the people you want in your car you want to tag along because you know you'll have a good time they know which games to play they know the, the poker games, they know what to say, they know, I mean, they just love adventure, they want to go in the wild and scream and, you know, love life. And life is for the living, you guys. Sometimes we're so caught up in becoming rich, in uh, wanting to buy that house, wanting to buy that car, and we miss out everyday life. We miss out every thing that's happening in life. You know, you're supposed to experience every moment. Enjoy life enjoy life once in a while go for that road trip buy for yourself a nice thing you know watch a nice movie enjoy life have a hobby have something you enjoy to do after that accountant job after that evening when you get home from work and you're feeling drained and you're feeling all sorts of things you know have a glass of wine enjoy just enjoy living life is for the living and nobody's gonna come here and do that for you you have to do it for yourself so the last one the last one is uh, everything takes work. Everything takes work. If you want a lot of money, you have to work for it. If you want that house, you have to work towards buying that house. If you want a good personality, you have to look at what you're doing on a daily basis. You have to catch yourself. You have to want to be better. You have to want to be positive, to be a good communicator. You have to be want to be authentic to have so that you can also have authentic people in your life and also people who respect you and your boundaries. Everything takes work. Work on a good personality. Work on yourself so that you can enjoy life. You can even, like I said, you can be able to recognize the person in front of the mirror. You can be able to feel good about yourself, feel good about how you make other people feel, how you stand up for yourself. How you can be able to gel in a conversation. The first point was about social skills, how to be able to carry a conversation, to make new friends, to even want people to want to hang out with you, not because they want to eat you money or because you're famous or because you have something to give but because of who you are as a person thank you so much guys i really wanted to come back with this video uh starting next week i'll have more videos i'll probably have a video every day like i want to do this like that it fills me up and sometimes when i talk about these things i am also listening so they're also getting to me Cindy, we said whatever you're saying you're also listening that's why you need to be careful about what you tell yourself so you also don't consume it and then believe it to be true thank you so much guys please please subscribe i love you guys thank you for your feedback i have a lot of i get a lot of dms especially on instagram i'm trying to 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 respond to them so no, it doesn't matter when you send i will still respond to it thank you guys bye